Hi, I am Tanujain and I will be solving math question number 4. So the question given to us is find the volume of the largest rectangular box with edges parallel to the axis that can be inscribed in the ellipsoid and uh, this function is given. This, uh, this question can be solved using two methods. The first is the Lagrange multiplier and second is using partial derivatives and finding the maxima. So I will be solving the uh, I will be solving the question using the Lagrange multiplier and later verifying it uh, verifying the answer using partial derivatives. So as we know uh, when using the Lagrange method uh, we will require two functions. So let me first rewrite the first equation. Sorry first function 9x square plus 36y square plus 4z square is equal to 36 we will consider this part to be one function uh, um, consider this as h x y z and this will be a constant uh, now uh, we also know that uh, the first uh, the rectangle which we will be finding should be in the first octet and as we are uh, taking out the volume uh, the second function uh, could easily be uh, f is equal to x y z which is and as we know volume is basically three sides so uh, x into y into z now the total volume which will uh, come out it will be 8 times the actual value so the total volume is equal to 8 times h now uh, for a Lagrange multiplier we know that we should have a gradient which will be equal to um, which will be uh, equal to a multiplier in this case I'm taking it as lambda and then gradient uh, first the second uh, function sorry for the weird cut uh, I've solved a question a bit further but uh, I've done this because I would have got confused while narrating what I was doing so I will uh, tell you what I was what I've actually done so as I stop that uh, gradient f is gradient of f is equal to a Lagrange multiplier uh, for a gradient for a different function and now this is just a general uh, formula you could say so it was a uh, gradient f is equal to del f uh, del x i cap plus del uh, f by del y j cap plus del f by del z k cap so what I've done this on the left side I have solved uh, for the function uh, uh, f x y z is equal to uh, x y z uh, x into y into z and on the right hand side I have solved uh, the main um, function which was given to us so after using a general formula for both the above functions this is what I've got the left side is equal to the right side so the coefficients for example in the case of i cap over here is yz but uh, on the right side it is 18x uh, in lambda which is similar for uh, the uh, which is similar for j j cap and k cap so uh, actually well i'll actually write them do down now so yz is equal to um, lambda 18x x y is equal to lambda 72 y and um, x uh, oh sorry this is z over here uh, x y is equal to lambda 8 z now to make all uh, to make all three equations equal to x y z we will add we will multiply x in the first case so this will become 18 
x square and the similar steps will be followed for the other two uh, equations uh, in this one a uh, y will be multiplied so this becomes lambda 72 y square and in the last one we multiply by z so x y z is equal to lambda uh, sorry 8 uh, z square after getting this the next step would uh, we could say is we know that um, x y z x y z is equal to lambda 18 x square lambda uh, 72 y square and lambda uh, 8 uh, z square i'm just writing that here 18 x square which is also equal to lambda 72 y square which is equal to lambda 8 uh, z square uh, we uh, also know that lambda will not be equal to 0 so I'll just write it over here uh, lambda will not be equal to 0 uh, so this can again be rewritten as 18x square is equal to 72y square is again written into is equal to 8z square into k k can again be written as so uh, for x uh, so for the next step what we'll do is uh, we'll know uh, we'll know x square is equal to k by 18 we'll do that similar for the other variables y square will be equal to k by 72 z will be equal to k by 8 now these uh, uh, these variables can again be rewritten uh, and we will substitute them in the uh, initial uh, equation so that would be uh, so that would be 9 uh, k by 18 plus um, 36 uh, into k by 72 which will into 4 k by 8 which is equal to the constant which is 36 uh, sorry for the cut I had to flip over my page so the last thing we got was uh, this now we'll actually solve it so the value of k which I found was uh, k is equal to 24 now uh, we when we put the value uh, 24 uh, so x will be 2 by under root 3 y will be equal to 1 by under root 3 and uh, z will be equal to under root 3 uh, sorry for the cut i had to flip over my page so the last thing we got was uh, this now we'll actually solve it so the value of k which I found was a uh, k is equal to 24 now uh, we when we put the value uh, 24 uh, so x will be 2 by under root 3 y will be equal to 1 by under root 3 and uh, z will be equal to under root now to finding the maximum volume we know that the max uh, v max is equal to 8 times x y z which will be equal to 8 uh, into 2 by under root 3 1 by under root 3 and under root 3 which is uh, 16 by under root 3 now we will verify this using partial differentiation uh, to verify this answer we'll use partial differentiation for that firstly uh, we will uh, um, rearrange the initial equation to find what uh, z is equal to in terms of x and y uh, so our initial equation is 9x square plus 36y square plus 4z square is equal to 36 
uh, taking everything the other side except uh, 4x uh, 4z square uh, this can be rewritten as 2z uh, whole uh, squared and this is 36 minus 9x square minus 36 the square can be taken that side but before that we'll take uh, a 9 we'll take 9 common um, we'll take 9 common so uh, when we uh, take the square that side it becomes root and a 9 uh, root is 3 so 3 outside root uh, 4 uh, minus x square minus 4y square is equal to 2z so uh, so z is equal to 3 by 2 4 minus x square minus 4y square uh, now uh, we know that v max is equal to 8 times x y z this again we will rewrite and we will put what we got for z over here that is um, so that will make it 12 x y under root um, 4 minus x square minus 4 y square now uh, as you're using partial differentiation uh, we need uh, the critical points so for that we'll need to find vx and vy so vx is equal to del v by del x which is 24 by uh, under root uh, 4 minus x square minus 4 y square into uh, 2 minus x square minus 2 y square um, vy is equal to 12 x under root uh, 4 minus x square minus 4 y square uh, into 4 minus x square minus 8 y square now uh, we'll, uh, we know that at critical points uh, either vx needs to be 0 or vy needs to be 0 so in case for vx it should be equal to 0 that means um, uh, that means this needs to be 0 so for uh, for that we'll do um, 2 minus x square minus 2y square is equal to 0 um, just I'll rearrange it so x square becomes 2 minus 2y square now uh, we'll we write vy for vy a 4 minus x square minus 8y square should be equal to 0 uh, I'll rearrange that so 2 minus uh, 2 minus 6y square is equal to 0 y will be equal to 1 by under root 3 uh, we'll take this value of y by 1 uh, y is equal to 1 by under root 3 to this side so x also becomes 2 by under root 3 we've already got the value of uh, x and y uh, we'll put those values uh, in the equation what we got for z so uh, z uh, is equal to uh, 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 uh, under root 4 minus x square minus 4 y squared uh, putting the values of x and y so that will be 3 by under root 2 oh sorry 3 by 2 um, 4 minus 4 by 3 minus uh, uh, 4 uh, y 3 uh, so we'll know that z also comes out to be under root 3 now we know that the maximum volume is equal to x y z we know the value of uh, is 8 into x y z a so the value for from this comes to be uh, 1 by under root 3 under root 3 is equal to um same 16 by under root 3 which was the answer which we got from Lagrange multiplier Hence the answer what we got is verified and in the first octet.